Hi, I'm Lisa and I decided to do this YouTube channel um, to just inform people, um, not that they don't know, about the inherent risks and rewards of plastic surgery and this one particular procedure, which I felt like I did a good amount of research on. Um, but as it turns out, you never know. And I, you know, am a very informed patient. I go in knowing you never know. Um, and I was warned by my sister-in-law, this is like the hardest surgery. It's such a hard recovery and it is. So, um, also, um, when you pick your doctor, do your research, which I felt like I had a really good reason to pick the doctor I did. He did an amazing job on my sister-in-law, several procedures, and I really liked what he did. He also happened to be out of state in Las Vegas, and I live in Los Angeles. Um, I went to see a lot of other doctors who I felt were very, very qualified. Um, I really like them. One in Orange County was very unwilling to kind of answer a lot of questions I had in the pre-op. He, he wasn't even going to see me for the pre-op. So I decided, um, I felt really uncomfortable with that. Like, he's like, okay, any more questions? Like rushing me through. And this is a five and a half hour surgery. What I had is called a belt lipectomy. Um, it's where they literally cut you in half. <laughs> so they cut you from all the way around 360 from, you can't see me, from here all the way around. Uh, the reason I'm not sitting down is because I can't sit. I'm on week number five. My back stitches popped open um, about by week number two and a half and I was instructed to not sit. So I either have to stand or lay flat on my back, which has been a super big challenge, um, especially for somebody who's very like busy and, you know, um, moving around. Now I knew I was gonna like have to take it easy. I did, but I did not expect to one, pop my back stitches and two, I got a giant hole in my abdomen. And I don't know what it was from exactly. I'm thinking it was because I was pulled really tight. Um, but it opened up. You'll see in my other videos. It's about that big. And at about two weeks, a little less than two weeks, it became necrotic. And I was freaking out. I mean, it was a black hole. Um, so I go through in the videos what happened. Um, I felt like my the aftercare, he was not answering questions with any consistency. Um, it was like, didn't get back to me for a while. Meanwhile, I'm in another state. Yes, at my in-laws house, but still completely, you know, out of my element for a month. They ended up leaving to go on a already scheduled vacation, nothing against them, but then I was alone and at week number like three and a half and had to deal with this hole, not knowing. I seriously was like, am I gonna get sepsis? Am I gonna get gangrene? What's gonna happen? Nothing was really explained to me um, specifically enough. And it was a journey and it was a mental mind fuck. Um, so, that's a basic reason why I'm here and to tell you to do your research and to um, really think about do you want and need this surgery um, because it's a big one. It is no, no fucking joke. Like I've had a lot of things done um, and this one was, it was really no joke. So I'll go into some more stuff later. I just wanted to kind of let you know why I was here and um, there'll be pictures and um, gross things but really I just want to inform and 
make sure that you do your research, you do your homework, you really, 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 really want what you're signing up for and you're prepared for anything to happen because that's the point. Anything can happen. You never know. So be prepared for the unknown and to mentally deal with that because it's scary. All right, I'll come back.